Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I just got a few question from my subscriber, and he asked me that real uh, it's related to the form. How can we set? Uh, how can we make a form on a custom post type and assign it to other custom post type using a relationship? field on advanced custom field plugin um, as you can see i have two custom post type the first is agent the second is testimonial so i have already created a custom field for testimonial um, so the idea is the user um, when the user um, visited one of the agent page uh, they, there will be a form um, so it's kinda like a testimonial for the agent itself and here yeah, this is the relation field uh, you know, on SEF as you can see here so like um, the idea is um, the, the form will be saved into the custom post type a testimonial so the title will be like uh, testi testimonial title and then yeah and some message and then this um, uh, the user will uh, the form itself will have a hidden field to store the post ID and then when the f when the user submitted the form all the field uh, title message and this relationship uh, field will update it with the value of um, the user input so i will show you here i have created a single template single post template for agent and i'm gonna add some form okay And the first field is I'm gonna use name, name of the customer, or the people who write a review or write the testimonial. The second is, and I'm gonna use is use that as a post title. The message, uh, user message, I will use that as a post content. And the name, mm, this is the hidden field label. Let's say the agent id and the value is retrieved uh, dynamically um, by using the dynamic data post id so it will um, store the agent a uh, post a uh, custom post type id so let's save it and let's see on the front end okay uh, oh yeah I need to go to one of my agent and yeah I have created uh, one agent uh, his name is Mr. Smith so when people um, browse the Mr. Smith page uh, there will be a form like this so user can submit his name like uh, Mr. Adam and the message the testimonial message like Mr. Smith is really good good worker and then the hidden field we have a uh, hidden field let's see this is the hidden field and the value uh, you can see the value here this is the custom post uh, the, the Mr. Smith uh, post ID uh, if you see here okay this uh, 896 that is mr. Smith ID and let's go back to the uh, form and we're gonna uh, create a new custom action for this form let's save it first 
and if you saw my video uh, last month ago I, I, I already uh, shared the code how to save uh, the value of the form into the post or a custom post type so you just need to like uh, I will share again the link so you can click on the video description below so what I need to do is just copy the function and then I'm gonna I'm, I'm using my team child here team child the function file or yeah you can use like uh, many plugin for uh, creating custom function for storing your snippet yeah uh, you can use either way um, I'm gonna I need to modify some of the data here but before that I found a really great um, snippet from Chris Castillo dev you can see on github I will share the link um, I found that yeah we can actually create a many custom action for different form so um, the form ID data form ID data okay so I need to like um, copy some of the code written by him and let's put it on on which one yeah on okay on this aja okay the form data form id uh, the data i will uh, replace to the my variable of the forms so something like this form id here we're gonna change into our actual form id uh, you can open your up open up your console and you can see here data element id on the form element or data script id yeah, you can just copy both or either way one of one of them is uh, yeah both of them is is, is is fine i think so we need to like pass it into our form id variable okay if form id is he is this then uh, the custom action which will run is this let's put inside okay here and <coughs> mm, okay post id yeah yep okay i need to um, modify my data here my custom field id name name of the we have a name of the user who will submit the form so let's go back to our form and you can see on the field there is an id this is the name uh, sorry let's pass it and then email i don't need the email i don't have the email field so i'm just gonna delete that and name here because uh, i'm gonna use then the value of the form field name as a post title so i don't i don't need this okay and okay message let's see the the field id for message just copy that and paste it and then gender um we're gonna uh, change this a little bit so, so i'm gonna use agent agent id field uh, change to the our actual agent id field okay new post uh, array new post post type contact form change it to the uh, testimonial my testimonials custom post type slug uh, post type testimonial let's see oh uh, yeah here uh, post status publish yeah you can change it to draft or schedule i think I i'm not sure about the schedule but i'm sure you can um, set the status to the publish or draft 
name okay name post title message from name yeah I'm gonna change this to like testimonial testimony from yeah, the name uh, jika if if kosong if if it's blank uh, it will it will not it will not show the, the the name the name field and let's move to the our message yeah it will save as a post content if there is no uh, if 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 the field is blank then um, the value of the post content will here the no, no message will submit it yeah it's mandatory eh, it's not mandatory it's optional you can change it how uh, whatever you like if it's set gender yeah I need to change the gender to agent ID agent ID and then here this meta input uh, change this to the value at to the custom field name so let's say uh, I'm gonna open my SCF and then um, here is the group for my relationship field so this is the field name of my relationship custom field and just copy that save it and then um, agent ID new post post ID yeah if post ID yeah, we're gonna change to I'm not sure I forget what what this variable is for but let's save it I'm, I'm I will not change any anymore anything let's let's just test it first okay okay let's see single agent uh, I'm going oh yeah this is my mr. Smith agent okay let's see my name is Ivan message is I'm gonna write a good review good testimonial for mr. Smith like mr. Smith is pretty cool guy yeah whatever okay let's send it okay let's go back to our testimonial my my I, I should have a new post on this testimonial okay here the testimony from my name let's edit and see the field okay mr. Smith is pretty cool guy yeah the post content is saved it the the, the uh, post title is saved it and then here you can see the mr. Smith already added into the custom field relationship I think this this is pretty simple um, <coughs> uh, should I try to create another agent to test it yeah for sure let's create a new agent and um, let's name it mr. dadang let's publish it and uh, wait a little bit until it updated okay now it's loading all right um, let's open up mr. dadang page okay I'm gonna close this close this okay mr. dadang okay I'm gonna <coughs> put some uh, random name like mr. Um, Tono yeah I think mr. Tono is a good guy uh, let's say Mr. Dadam, uh, I glad uh, has uh, grew the best service for web development. Yeah, and let's send it. Okay, let's go out to our testimonial custom post type. Yeah, we already have a new testimonial from Mr. Tono. And okay, the relationship, yeah, it's um, the Mr. It's it's um, the data is sent through 
and yeah Mr. Dang is speak is choice based on the the page ID here so I think this this method is work so um, as usual if you have any question or, or some suggestion you can write on the comment box down below or you can send me email or just through uh, my uh, Facebook account you can add me as a friend there um, thank you for watching as usual and happy coding bye bye see you on the next videos